What's up guys, it is Luke here, and I know today would normally be Black and White 2, but I have a lot of problems with that, Desume, um, video codex from FFT show, it's all gone tits up, so I'm swapping the days for tech tips and Black and White 2, so Black and White 2 is now Tuesday, um, but that will go back to normal next week, so don't worry, you will be getting Black and White 2, but today we're going to look at three things you can do to dramatically increase the speed of your PC, now this video is going to have to be fairly quick, because uh, I have a lot of stuff to do, um, namely videos and going to um, find a job and stuff, but uh, pretty much first thing we're going to do is going to hit start, and we're going to go to my computer here, uh, actually you know what, we'll go to control panel, and you're going to go to large icons here, and you're going to go to power options as you see here. And once you get into the power options, you'll see balanced, high performance, gaming, and uh, some plans may be hidden. If you don't see high performance here, you'll probably see power saver and balance. You just click show additional plans, and you should see high performance mode. So we're going to click that, and what we're going to do is go change plan settings, and uh, switch these to never and never. And then we're going to go ahead and hit change advanced power plan settings. So, the first thing you need to be aware is none of this stuff here is actually important. Um because it will change itself anyway. So processor power uh, power management. Now I like to set my minimum to 25% and I like to make sure that the system calling policy is active. All this means is that um, your fan will work harder to call your processor. Um, if it's passive calling, it means it will slow down your processor and cut your performance so that your fans aren't as loud. That's pretty much what it means. So make sure that is active and not passive. And maximum processor state, I like to hit it up somewhere around 92%. You can put it to 100 if you like. I just don't like my processor working that hard because, uh, well, I don't. But that's pretty much all you need to do for that. So just go ahead, hit, uh, hit OK, click Save Changes, and uh, you're all done. Now your PC is actually much faster, so you guys will see an improvement in that. So the next thing that we're going to do is uh, we're going to see how much RAM we have. So we can go to my computer, right-click it, and go to Properties, and it's going to bring up this screen here, which is going to tell us um, our index. Now we can click Windows Experience Index right here, and it will tell us uh, what we have here. So you can see I have a pretty damn high spec PC. The only thing that lets me down is my hard disk, and it will take your lowest score. So you can see how much RAM you have. You see mine's 7.5 out of 7.9, so it's pretty damn fast. I have eight gigs, but if you don't, here's what you can do. You can get a USB um, flash stick, memory stick, you know, all that good stuff, and you can plug it into your PC, go to my computer, and you'll see here I have it plugged in, and I have 1.91 gig free. Now what you can do is you can actually use this as RAM and it does make a huge difference. So what you want to do is right click it, go to properties, and you should get a little box that pops up. And uh, for some reason, because I just switched power plans, my PC is a bit slow. And uh, right here, you'll see this tab here that says ready boost. Uh, now you're going to go ahead and click that and you can click uh, dedicate this device to ready boost. Now it says here Windows recommends 1857 for optimal performance. So we're going to go ahead and change this to 1857 and then we're going to hit apply. And you can see Ready Boost and uh, hit OK. And now what my computer is doing is actually using this as RAM. So that's really cool because now I can do a lot more things. So that's pretty damn cool. So the last thing that you guys are going to notice is that I'm using Windows 7. However, down here, you know, it kind of looks like I'm using Windows XP. So what I did to do that, and it speeds up your PC a lot, is we're going to go to uh, right-click my computer. We're going to go to Properties. It's going to bring up this page again. We're going to go over here and click Advanced System Settings. That's going to pop up this box. By the way, guys, none of this stuff is going to harm your PC. So we're going to come over to the Advanced tab here, which you should already be on. Now you're going to see Performance. We're going to go ahead and click Settings, and that's going to bring up this box right here. Now, uh, if we go to my desktop, you can see that these videos actually show what video it actually is, as opposed to just a file. Uh, we want that. So pretty much yours is going to look like this, and you see everything here is ticked. That's what yours will be on. You can go adjust for best performance, and that is going to make everything look all weird. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that. Now you can see that my video files just look like this, and which doesn't look very nice to me. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is show um, thumbnails instead of icons. I'm going to click that and apply that. Now you can see I've got my thumbnails back here, which is pretty cool. And if you want it to actually look like Windows 7, you can go use visual styles on Windows and buttons. Click apply, and you see that it says please wait, and now I have my Windows 7 stuff back. But I don't want that because my PC is actually faster without it. So now that it's faster without it, you know, obviously it's going to be faster and whatnot. So you can go ahead and do that. So um, pretty much that is three simple steps you guys can take to speed up your PC. Uh, I'll give you guys a quick preview into what I'm going to be doing uh, next episode or the episode after that. We're going to be looking at a few things uh, such as MSI Afterburner. So 
this is a really great utility and uh, you see here I'm using the AMD Radeon 6800 series it's actually a 6870 graphics card which is an absolute powerhouse of a card and we're going to be looking at overclocking now you can see here I actually have mine on the underclock setting right now um, I can switch over here though and change it to the overclocked setting it was at 91050 I've slightly overclocked it uh, so I'm going to be showing you guys just how you can overclock your graphics cards, overclock your processors, and do it safely without causing any damage or any harm to them. So we're going to be looking at that, and uh, we're also going to be looking at how to stress test and make sure that you're not putting uh, any of your components in your PC at danger. Because uh, that is one thing, obviously, that you guys will definitely want to be aware of. You do not want to harm your PC. Anything and everything I show you guys in these PC Tech Tips videos are going to be 100% safe. Any fool, noob silly person with no experience of a PC can do this and I'll walk you guys through it so that you will never ever ever damage your computer because that is obviously one thing that I do not want to happen to your PC. One thing I will say when it does come to overclocking doing stuff like that it will void your warranty um, so you need to be careful with that and I do have to say that with anything um, with overclocking I am not responsible for anything that does happen because with overclocking it's you really need to be careful and if you do any damage to your um, PC to cover myself I have to say I'm not responsible although you know I'll be doing my best to make sure that you guys will do it safely so uh, you shouldn't have any problems so I hope you guys have enjoyed the first episode of PC Tech Tips I hope it's helped you out you should see a significant boost in performance in your PC if you don't know what I'd suggest is your PC is really too old and you need to upgrade but these things will help anybody with a moderately decent PC so uh, thank you for watching guys if you want to leave some comments let me know how some of this stuff works type for you and uh, one other thing is uh, visual themes here on your desktop um, also slow down your PC so you can per go to personalize here and I'll change some stuff so one more thing I'll go through and I'll show you guys something else that I'm planning to do with you guys in the future is the AMD uh, Catalyst Control Center or the AMD Vision Engine Control Center this again is another utility that lets you uh, do a lot of things with your PC such as um, you know change um, how hard your PC works um, why that is set so low I have absolutely no idea that should be right up there to 3.4 gigahertz um, yeah anyway uh, you can do that and then there's loads of stuff we can do here to help your PC in performance so thank you guys for watching drop a comment if it helped you out leave a like leave a dislike if you didn't like it and uh, I'll speak to you guys soon